The food industry is arguably one of the most regulated industries in the world, which means food quality and particle size analysis go hand in hand. But what equipment should I be using? I'll explain everything, so stick around. Hey there, what's up? My name's Andrew Kotlar, and to guarantee a quality control level that's suitable for mass production, food quality control technicians have to implement a reliable means of particle size analysis. So what equipment options are currently available to ensure food safety and quality control is handled with precision and care? With over 150 years of particle size analysis experience, WS Tyler is here to ensure you implement the best solution for your particle needs. So in this video, we'll go over everything you need to know about particle size analysis in the food industry, how the food industry fits into the particle size analysis industry, and what instruments are used to carry particle size analysis out. So when you're talking food safety and quality control, there's several ways particle size analysis comes into play. The two main ways are in final product sizing and initial product sizing. So what's the difference? Well, initial product sizing is the analysis of powdered or raw ingredients at the beginning stages of the production. These are the ingredients that go into things like curry spice blend or a, a cake mix. On the other hand, final product sizing is the analysis of the particles making up the final production run to ensure it's within a certain size range. This includes products like table salt, uh, granola, and sugar. Particle size analysis allows food manufacturers to meet the expectations of their customers by enhancing their food quality control protocols. So to put this into perspective, let's say you're a, a manufacturer that sells tea bags. If a customer purchases your tea bags, they expect each cup of tea to taste the same, if they steep each one for three minutes, that is. Particle size analysis helps to guarantee this by allowing you to make sure the leaves within a batch have been cut to a similar size. The same goes for food that needs to be cooked. Particle size analysis helps to ensure that a food product will cook at the expected rate. In the food industry, there's three particle analysis instruments that can be implemented to enhance most food quality control protocols. There's sieve shakers, air jet sieves, and dynamic image analysis systems. Let's take a look at how each instrument is implemented in the food industry. Sieve shakers use an oscillating motion along with a hammer tapping motion to promote particle movement through a test sieve stack. This simple yet effective system was discovered to produce some of the most reliable and repeatable results in the industry. This is why shakers like the Rotap sieve shaker have been a highly consistent particle size analysis instrument for several decades. In fact, one of the greatest benefits that it brings to the table is that it can easily be traced to several industry standards. This means that all the necessary quality control paperwork is readily available during an audit. But that being said, this particular unit can be fairly loud when not placed into a sound enclosure. It can sometimes prove to be a disruption. Also, there's a lot of moving parts that make up a Rotap sieve shaker that'll wear over time. This means there is some maintenance required from time to time, though most maintenance can be easily carried out. Air jet sieves like the Alpine Air Jet Sieve E200 LS are a unique solution that gives food quality control technicians a complete particle size analysis experience. These units are especially useful when working with material that often becomes agglomerated like flour and confectioner sugar. The Alpine uses a vacuum generated jet of air to slam agglomerated particles against its plexiglass lid, which allows them to separate and flow through the test sieve. This unique vacuum system makes the air jet sieves the ideal solution for any operation working with lighter particles. However, these light particles can cause a lot of buildup within the air jet sieve filters as well as the vacuum that generated the air. And because of this, the food quality control technician has to follow a regular cleaning schedule to ensure it continues to operate perfectly. Dynamic Image Analysis Systems, or CPA, takes things a step further by giving insight into the size as well as the shape of the particle being worked with. This is extremely beneficial if, let's say, you know you want 80% of your particles to be triangular in shape, you can set up parameters to see this. Systems, like the CPA, also stand as some of the fastest particle size analysis instruments on the market. Dynamic Image Analysis Systems can run a sieve analysis or sieve distribution in three minutes, compared to the 30 to 60 minute time frame sieve shakers and air jet sieves usually have. But I should note, dynamic image analysis systems have yet to be reflected in industry standards. So to make sure you're producing results that adhere to industry standards, a stack of master sieves should be used to test your material monthly. The correlation of these results will allow you to check the accuracy of your CPA. So when you neglect to implement a reliable particle size analysis in your food quality control process, you run the risk of having a product that simply doesn't meet the quality that's expected. So 
For example, if you ground coffee from a manufacturer that doesn't use particle analysis, at some point in their quality control process, the taste of the coffee will be inconsistent and customers may begin to deter customers from buying the products. The same thing goes for products that give customers direction on how to prepare it, like cake mix. If the manufacturer isn't checking the particle sizes within the mixture, the end user, after following the directions carefully, will end up with a cake that you know, sinks, burns, or causes illness. To put it simply, particle size analysis is just a good way to meet industry standards while also leaving consumers happy and satisfied. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.